I think there was mixed emotions from talking to different people um, when they hired them in the first place. You know, I think right. some, yeah. some fans, some parents were, were excited about it. Some were questioning it, whether it was the right move or not. Um, so I think it was it was interesting to see how the year was going to play out with him. You know, my prediction was I thought it, it would have probably went well in the beginning. And, you know, maybe his techniques and tactics with such a young team might have fizzled. You know, but I was yeah. anxious to watch and see see what happened. And, and you know, I never predicted this. Um, <laughs> no, obviously, yeah. all of Kami, what he says, and some of the other stories of Franzen and, and, and Marner and all those things. So, um, you know, I've known about it, but never predicted anything like this happening here. And, and you know, honestly, like, it's, it's disappointing, you know, and I, I people ask me all the time if, if I thought it was true and all this, you know, before like the he, he stepped down and I said, you know, the players don't just say things like yeah. NHL guys are stand up guys. They don't just start things and they say things for vendettas and, and whatever. Like if, if people are saying this, like if spit and chicklets are coming out saying this, like those guys got reason, like people were discrediting them and taking shots at them. And, you know, I couldn't believe it. Like. I told everybody, I was like, if, if the players are saying this, like, you got to listen. Like, players don't just make up this stuff. Guys, like, HL guys are honest, hardworking, truthful guys. Like, there's something to it. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I agree with that fully. Yeah, you're not going to just make shit up, even if you don't like the guy. But, like, to make a story like that up and for it to burn the way it did, like, uh, I, there has to be some truth in it. Yeah, I, mean, I, I sure. was – we talked about this before, RJ, like, when he did get hired. I'm just like, you're almost waiting for something, but I was, un I agree with you. I was like, it's probably going to start out. Okay. And then if they're something losing, he can't up. handle that. Like his shit's going to start going awry. So, but it didn't get that. <laughs> it didn't <laughs> make it that far. Game so. in. Yeah, it's, 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 get a game it's unfortunate in, so. it had to go that way. And we yeah, got in today, sorry, in today's, today's life, you know, with mental health and everything, it's exactly. just like such an important thing. And, you know, I, it just, to, to have a person in that kind of power, you know, playing any type of games with, with his, his players, it's just so disappointing. And, you know, he, he's a great hockey mind too. That's the sad part about it. Like he, yeah. you know, he's a guy that, that could be great for the game, you know, if he did things the right way. And um, I just think for with mental health and, and everything and from every age, it's just, uh, it doesn't matter if you're an adult or not. It's just such an important thing. It's something to take serious. Yeah, hundred percent. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Nasty and I were talking before. It's like, you know, we're past that era of that type of coaching, anyways, right? The fear-based coaching, you know, the demeaning, the dictatorship type of stuff. Like, there's several. I mean, there's got to be twenty, thirty coaching coaches available that could have easily snuck in that job. You know what I mean? It's just like you wonder, like, when do you let go of that old guard and move on to like these more like real coaches like communicators you know that empower you not just like piss on you and stuff like that so i i always question the hiring just like you mentioned there too but um yeah it's unfortunate it ever had to go this way no one could have anticipated that this would have ever happened just there, crossing that line in just different ways i guess right exactly and, and there's like chief like we know what kind of a coach he is he's hard he's hard but he just wants you to play hard he expects it but yeah. he gives you the respect he's not doing any yeah, he may get on you and you may get pissed yeah, off about it there's different. nothing wrong with that yeah. but the, to, like you said it, it's a great point by you with the, with the mental aspect yeah. of it why do you want an 18 year old kid if he makes your team coming in and that's in the back of his head every day you want this kid to like yeah learn sure how to be a thrive. pro become a pro play hockey at his highest level and i don't know i just i mean he to just to have the balls to do that when there's all this these eyes on you anyway from the way you've been you know portrayed right. which is obviously true um I, it just doesn't seem like a very smart move but it didn't yeah. last yeah well yeah. yeah i mean this isn't this is different than being a hard coach right yeah, like, exactly this, totally and this is cancel culture or anything like that this is different like this isn't a coach that's like hey you got off the ice and you played piss poor like hey you need to get that puck in and he's yelling and he sits you for you know the rest of the period like right like or, you know, brings you in and does video and, and, and shows you what you did wrong and, and tells you you're not playing next game. Like, th th this isn't this isn't that. This is this is personal. This is going yep. through problems. Um, you know, personal is like, you know, Kami said it best. You know, what if this person that was gay or something? Or yeah. What, what if there is, you know, secrets in this person's life that he's just not ready to to share yet? And and, and they're exposed. And, and then now this person can use it against them. Like, it's just, yeah. it's, so, it's just wrong on so many levels. And... 
you know, it's very unfortunate that uh, this has even happened in our sport. Yeah. Um, I think our sport needs more good stories and it needs more um, just, it's, it is such a good sport and there's such good people in this thing, in this sport that I think it just, to have this be the, the focus point for the last week or so leading up to a new season, it's just it's so disappointing. Yeah, yeah, for yeah sure. I couldn't say any better myself. Yeah, that's it. We need better. We we deserve better. Demand better, right? It's the only way to make the sport better and improve yeah. mental health, right? Because it's yeah, it's a hard game. But like as you said, this these two separate things: hard coaching and completely blatant violation of privacy is yeah. you know and, sure. and respect is is a completely different thing. So I think that's something we could definitely fix. Yeah, find solutions for for sure. So.